Hi, this is Ian Harrison for Crimson Trace, and today we're going to be demonstrating how to install a set of Crimson Trace laser grips on a revolver. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a Smith & Wesson J-frame, but the installation procedure applies to pretty much any revolver in the lineup. However, you should refer to the installation notes that came with your laser grips for details for your specific model. First thing I'm going to do then is verify that the gun is unloaded, point in a safe direction, clear it out, and check it again. Once that's been done, I'm going to take the laser grips out of their box and install the batteries. When you install the batteries, you want to make sure that the positive side is facing outwards. Once the batteries are installed, I'm going to remove the original grip from the J-frame. Nice thing about Crimson Trace grips is that you don't need a gunsmith to install them. All you need is a screwdriver or an appropriately sized Allen wrench. Once the original grips are taken off, I'm then going to take the new grip panel, the right-hand side with the laser diode on it, and snap that in place on the right-hand side of the revolver. Taking the non-laser diode side, put that on the left, and again snap it in place. I'm then going to take the screw that came with the accessory pack, insert that in place on the right-hand grip, and tighten it up. That's it for the grip installation. I'm now going to check that it works and check activation. Putting it in a safe direction, pick up the revolver in a normal firing grip and make sure that the sight comes on. If the sight doesn't turn on immediately, the first thing I'm going to check is that the master on off switch on the bottom of the butt is pushed forward. If it's not pushed forward, you need to do that. Okay, so we've established that it turns on and it fits. Next thing to do is go sight it in. For tips on how to do that, see our sighting in video.